Welcome to uh, Let's Play Gunstar Heroes, and I have a special guest with me today. Hey guys, it's Raven Extreme here. What's going on? Alright, so we're gonna be doing kind of a dual commentary on this game. It's a very, uh, a lot of very fun game, very cool game. It's a uh, Sega Genesis game. And it's my, personally my favorite, like, Genesis game, and I played it a lot growing up. And I haven't played this game in a while. I mean, it's, it's been years upon years since I played this game, but this is, uh, all I can say is, wow, this is hell. <laughs> this game is it's hell. Like a even on the, to yeah, me. this is classic, and it's a cult classic. If you don't know this game, go back to the Genesis and play this. Emulate this damn game. Seriously. <laughs> I, I love these little soldiers. You'll notice that there's a lot of seriousness in this game, but it's also doubled with a lot of humor. And then, like these tiny soldiers are just an example of that. It's so funny. <laughs> now, uh, we're going to play this game. Oh, you won't see it yet, but we're going to play it on easy. Well, I'm going to play it on easy. Because even on easy, it's not easy, and on anything more, I'd probably die at some point, and I, so I don't want to die, so I'm playing it on easy. So let's just <laughs> say this. Easy mode is like Konami's hard mode. It's, it, it's yeah. your basic mode. You want to go harder than that? You may as well just go play Go Ghosts and Goblins on the hardest difficulty. Yeah, and I'll, I'll get yeah. to my, my portion of that later, because, yeah, that's not very fun. You know, like, the, the, the advantage to playing on Expert or anything higher is certain bosses will get show you more of the boss the harder you do. You'll be able to fight for longer because it'll be harder to kill them. And you'll be able to see different things during the play. But all in all, most of that's uh, unimportant to have to show you. You'll get the gist of what's going on even if I play on oh easy, no, so... Oh no! Green's got the gem! That means... Oh no! He's, he can go super! Only one of us... Go we need to save someone. I, I didn't even read it. <laughs> What's really cool here is you can actually you can actually move the uh, the little like menu Gunstar Heroes thing there too, which I'm showing you. So, so let me go cool. let me go ahead and say it's this already set then. for easy. Welcome to Let's oh. Play Gunstar Heroes Second Genesis with Bloodbird and Raven Extreme. Oh yeah, and we're gonna begin. I'm gonna actually play on free shot. If you play on fixed shot, you get the other character, but I don't like not being able to move and shoot, so I really prefer. Free shot. Plus, I don't like the other guy's attacks. I'm just gonna give you guys a brief tutorial also on what the different things you can do with a uh, free shot. You can move in all eight directions. Your jumping is basic, pretty basic. You can do like a jump attack and um, a down attack. I don't know how. I think if you push back and forward at the same time or something, or back and forth, you could do some kind of standing, you know, uh, rush. And that's obviously block, which you don't ever really need unless you're pro. Yeah, you can jump off walls, you can hang on things, which you'll see in a second. And that's basically the basic thing. You can also throw yeah, this people. Game is basically just your normal running gun yeah. running gun kind of game. Shit tons of explosions. Um, nice nice hit there, you know, by the way. Yeah, but this game oh, this yeah. game gets crazy. You know the one the one thing yeah. It's like the one thing that annoys me the most, when you get like punched or shot, it's like five damage. But these guys, these guys are like everywhere. There's millions of these guys, they never end. But if they throw you, if any of them throw you, you lose 20 damage. And that's so annoying. Because, like, why, why do I have to lose 20 damage from some nothing enemy, right? Like, that it dies in a second. Yeah, it's kind of like, it's kind of like the Contra theory there, so. basically. Where, where you're just kind of like, I, I took a hit and I'm dead. Wait, what? What? <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, and uh, I just showed you a couple of those other weapons. If you combine weapons, you could, um... Well, you can, when you have two weapons, you, it gives you a combined, and you can also switch off to a single of them. So you can like do just the the bullets or just the green thing, whatever it is. <laughs> the uh, I think it's the missile. And later on, at one, uh, one of the further on levels, and not in this part, I'm going to show you like most of the yeah, weapons that, that you can play, that, he, play uh, with. that we just that he just got there is actually a vitality recovery. It can go anywhere from uh, 10 to 15, 10 to 15 health there. Oh yes. Yeah, I don't get enough of those in this play. And trust me, <laughs> vitality vitality is vital. And this thing, th if you hit this... Yeah, and those, those I don't know what those things are, they're like some kind of bird that drops items. If you are playing with, by yourself and you hit it, you can get more out of it. I think more often than not, if you're playing with two people, if you both attack it when it's dropping health, you could actually fall it. Or I think the fell it, you can make it fall. It'll destroy itself and you can get up to four you know, health things. The most you can get from it in this on a single player is three, but it's hard to do and there's not a lot of opportunities. So, 
Yes, but this yeah. game gets crazy. It, I mean, like I said, it is a running gun kind of game, but it's 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 crazy. It's it's not Konami crazy, but it's crazy. It's not like Ghost and Goblins crazy either because it, it's more like it's crazy, but you have fun being being playing with the crazy. Like I want to be. You know, you're not, like, it's not, it's not frustrating crazy like unless guy. you make it like that. Yeah. Oh, I mean, and, and, but I like that it has the option to be frustrating, crazy, if you want to make it that but way. But then again, even <laughs> the you doesn't have most to be, hardcore so. player uh, players playing this game will still lose. Yeah. Oh no, there's no one that can really like on first try beat it on expert right through. There's very few people. Now this guy, what he's doing right now is when he does that attack, he he does a heal. I stopped him just in time, but if you if you let him go through that, he'll heal himself. The good thing strategy here is just stay at the bottom, aim up. But what I was showing you here is another funny thing. If you put, if you spam the button, it looks like he's clapping, which I thought was funny. <laughs> so <laughs> I got my character to clap. It doesn't work with the other character, unfortunately, but this guy, because he's awesome, he claps. So he's clapping. Yay! I killed him. Yes. Now I should have jumped there, but uh, yeah. <laughs> I was too busy clapping, so. These guys, I love these characters because they have such badass expressions on their faces. Like, they're so awesome. Now, this is the worst place that I've ever had any health birds. Because you, you get them as soon as you go onto the screen where they are, there's going to be a beehive that's going to attack you as you try and get as much out of the health thing as you can. So you'll see how much I struggle yeah, with course, that in we a all second. Hate bees. You know, bees are really annoying there. I just realized, by the way, that. I got the maximum, but uh, if I didn't shoot the hive, nothing would have happened, so that was my fault, being an idiot. <laughs> also, during this Let's Play, I don't do it a lot because I only realized it later, but if you hold up when you jump, you will jump higher, and you'll see me get frustrated in the next stage because I don't do it. <laughs> so, Oh my god, Earthbound! Wait, Earthbound, what? Oh wait, sorry. Now, the... Yeah. <laughs> This boss is not really this easy, but on this mode, you can actually not get hit by doing that. But don't try that on any higher Very difficulty, clear. because the guy aims at you if you do that. So, that like some some so yeah, some strategies only work for some difficulties, you know. Look at this epic face right there. Okay, now this is mine and probably most other people's favorite stages. Although actually, maybe oh, my, no, maybe the Dice Palace, palace is my favorite. Actually, stage. but this is a lot of people's favorite stage. Yeah, like I, I, I take back what I said. That's my favorite, but this is a really good stage too. And um, yeah. So you now, now it's changed kind of the setup. You can jump up and down on the walls, and it'll go left and right as well when you switch directions. You can still, for some reason, um, um, you know, kick people. I don't know what it does though. What the point of it is? But yeah, it lets you do it. Exactly, so. it's coming from everywhere. So basically, you want to have the, the setup that uh, Bloodbird has right now because it's it's a homing weapon. It's homing, basically. Well, semi homing. Yeah, like uh, base, base, Yeah, well, like for the whole basic level, this I, I this this gun always annoys me. Although no matter how much annoyed I am, it's always u more useful than I'm annoyed at it. But when you're aiming at nothing, it sometimes aims up, and you can't aim <laughs> anywhere. Generally though, for any level until the very last boss, this is the best weapon to use because it makes it the easiest because in any other point you can lock on to people with your weapon. But I'll go through it later, but the, you want to change your weapon on the final boss because this weapon is not very useful against him. But until then we don't yeah, need to worry about that. So, and basically what you need to do to not take a lot of damage is just make sure you destroy those barrier guys on the sides there because they deal a lot of damage if I remember correctly. Yeah, uh, th either that because uh, with this weapon it's hard to aim it. But if you can just you can get past them because they just they disappear after before they reach you. I always try try and destroy them though. Oh, I was supposed to make a joke on those guys. That I was gonna say no sleeping on the job. I got distracted. <laughs> All through the let's play, I, I was ready for that joke. <laughs> oh well, these guys just keep coming. They won't stop. Although, I, I really like the part yeah, coming up with the train. The train's coming up in a second. It's going to be really funny. Oh my god. I, I played it on Expert. I was going to put a bonus video, but it, it was only like three, two minutes long. 
and I was playing it, and I, I couldn't get past, I couldn't even get to the first mini boss of, of the first level because those stupid small enemies kept killing me. They, they were just hoarding me. It was, I couldn't do anything. I, and I used to be better at this game. I used to be able to do it at least normal, but uh, I would die, so I don't want to die. Now, for some reason, the train's been blown up. These guys yeah. are like running everywhere. And here is Mr. Oh my god, I'm Red General, oh, right? Wait. This guy is the funniest guy in this game. <laughs> and look, look what he does. Wait. He throws his own henchman at you. How epic is that? Is Cycle Crusher! Oh wait. Sorry. I don't I would not want to sign up for this guy's job. <laughs> so, and so there's the one guy just the running the along the side of the train. Oh no, help! Look at let me in! Wait, look at this. Check this out. This is pretty cool. You can, if you can time it right, you could just like again. We break go, the You can go what? up and down without touching anything. How cool is that? Yeah, <laughs> I, I figured this out only through the last play. I never done this before. Did I just read that? Oh god, I just read that. Damn, it's pretty damn. cool. Oh Jesus, it's hard to do though. I see a so I see I see a music reference coming. Oh wait, wait, and there's another one. Hypersonic spin. Wait, what? <laughs> Ooh, Sonic Spin. Now this is Green. Um, I will get to a little backstory on Green before. As you can see in the intro, he was he used to be part of the team. He got taken over by... Um, oh, I forget the word. There, there's a name, uh, I think it's the controller there. I don't know, there's a group, there's a group called... They, there's a group for the name of whoever's controlling him, but he gets mind controlled basically. Now... There's a kid. We'll go through more about his story after, because some little tidbits on him. But he has seven different boss forms. You can only fight three on yeah, easy, and the higher up you go, the more you, you know fight the and harder they are. Here. Um, basic. Um, honestly, um, the third form is actually. Now, really I don't. Which one is your favorite, favorite one? We'll see here in a second. I don't remember exactly what. Oh, the dog. That's right. Which one's that? Uh, the gun, the dog, the uh, the red thing. Nah, but the, the, the dog, the dog is actually the one that I, uh, Oh, I think you may be a second out of sync. Oh, well, whatever. <laughs> yeah. I... Yeah, yeah. I, you know, I, I've always personally liked the purple, um, spike thing. Mainly because purple is my favorite color, but also I just loved... I, I, I just liked the make of it. Oh, I thought it was really cool. But, uh... So the problem is... The gun is also pretty cool. The gun's fun. <laughs> you know, I'm actually wondering whether you're out of sync right it's now or it's just possible, but so far our voice the... together is out of sync. Maybe it'll get fixed during the video. Who knows? You know what? It, 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 doing this is a very... We're, we're doing an online over Skype dual commentary. And I don't think most people have done that before, so... If I'm the the pioneer, if we're the pioneers in this, then you'll give after us some slack for being a little bit out of sync because it's a pretty up. cool concept to do this anyway. Now, just anyways, guys, just to give you yeah, guys a took little a lot bit of more of an update for my but it's, for it's my pretty cool here, in the end. So. I am working on my next let's play right now. Um, it's actually I'm in the middle of deciding which game to play. Um, I have to get my PS2s out from my closet here and. Uh, kind of see if I can get some of my other games to work, so I'm stuck between three different games right now, which would be Jay Cocoon, uh, Grandia 2, or, or I might be returning to Dark Cloud, since, you know, I look... Well, I mean... I actually think I know Dark Cloud, well, barely, I mean, Dark Cloud but I really don't know most of those I games. Did start a West play on, so so that's when I, had to <laughs> I can't give any quality, input on that. The quality was really horrible, so now that I have the Dazzle, it should actually be a lot better now. Yeah, like the Dazzle is pretty good. There's there's other sy systems out there that let you record narration during pl uh, playing, but like for your standard, you know, good quality recorder, Dazzle's like the top of the class. For not for like non-pro equipment, of course. Is what I'm just trying to say. Now this is pretty cool. You could actually you could throw these Into mines, and you can Mario throw them at enemies, here. which is pretty cool. I'm gonna and throw the like, like Wait, what? This. It walked? Oh no! <laughs> Oh no! The bomb hit me! 
That was my own favorite thing to ever say is Mario, because any time you play Mario Party and something bad happens to Mario, he'd always go, Oh no! <laughs> it's just the funniest thing he's ever said. <laughs> you know, I might actually upload a video at some point, because I can do like every. If you take every, any Mario character that's in Brawl right now, I can do any wait, of their Diddy voices, actually, including wait, wait, Yoshi. Wait, Diddy actually had a voice? Except for Diddy, maybe not, I don't know if I can do Diddy, but uh, uh, I could do okay, any of their exactly. voices. Like, oh, also, wait, wait, also, also <laughs> <laughs> well, he goes like, <laughs> that's as well, much as yeah, he does. <laughs> I, I consider that like Dragon Ball, like, yeah. Dragon Ball, like. Dragon well, if you watch the Donkey Kong cartoon, cartoon he did. <laughs> yeah. Now, oh, this is the thing I was trying to do. Yeah. As you'll see me struggle right here. If you ju if you just hold up while you're jumping and you could wall jump and hit that that bar up there, the clothesline. I can't do it because I'm I, I'm failing and not pushing up. But <laughs> you can get up there and I do get up there. So sorry that I didn't get up there right away. In my other three attempts at this game, I did. <laughs> Isn't it always like that? The what you always have those those one attempts where something goes right yeah, as just as you want it but then you lose yeah, and then you do it again and that thing doesn't go right but something else does and in the end something always goes wrong that shouldn't have when you finally get the final cut like I think in one of them I had this thing where like um in the dice palace I got everything but three of the dice palace areas and then I ended up dying though I ended up getting interrupted wow, I couldn't use that video and I was so mad because it was like the best I'd ever done at the dice palace <laughs> but I couldn't use it so yeah, don't ever throw that guy either. It does no damage. Throwing is does a lot of damage, and, and more than um the gun. As does like uh oh my God, it kicking oh or my God, hitting it or um was launching yourself at people. But for that boss, it never works. Now this boss, <laughs> yeah, indeed. Now this guy's the thing. The throw? trick about him is, do you want to throw him? If you can throw him and not, he'll get like 300 damage done. Just don't ever throw him off the plane because he'll attack you when he gets back on and. He will lose only like 40 damage, which does nothing. And he just threw you twice. So you could shoot him; he'll do lose a lot of damage. But throwing him is the fastest way to kill him. Like I did like I took off like 400 right there. Or That's something. what happens when you got that many. That, that yeah, muscle. takes off 400 yeah, damage when you throw him. So probably somewhere there. He farts at you too. He's got like a fart Stay attack. Clear. I killed him. Now, this is one of my favorite things of this game when it does that kind of that 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 almost painting like um still frame. For whatever you're well, doing. Alright guys, it looks like we're hitting hitting the end here, so we'll see you in part two.